morning. Um, it never fails that if I teach on Tuesday, Monday night is sweet sleep. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. So we're going to start on our back. Um, uh, and we can do blocks or nothing. I'm going to do. I think I'll do a block. Um, Notice if there's any part of your body that you can relax in this moment. The usual, the eyes, the jaw, fingers, toes. Feel like bracing yourself and you soften a little bit and let whatever is underneath you support you. Notice if you have any thoughts running through your mind. Sometimes just noticing them is enough to let them go. Pull your awareness back into your body and into your breath. But I have time for you. No practice, no warning. You're totally wrapped up in yourself. And we'll pull our attention to our breath a little bit more so today. So take a deep breath in. Let it all go. And then let's start to count. As you inhale, let's count of one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale. One, two, three. Exhale. One, two, three. You can add on, add on. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two. Three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, one, two, three, four. If you can add on, add on, and then start to do it on your 
elbow. Bring your head. Make it not a choppy breath, but a really big full inhale as you count. And big exhale. Let's go to slow and count. And then inhale, 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 and deep cover. Try to make it a little bit more just full and even. Your biggest breath. Maybe it's a count of ten. You inhale and you just fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up. And you exhale, let it all go. Perfect. Stretch your arms, stretch your legs. I just feel that. Oh. Exhale. I feel like, especially when we first wake up, it's 
such an exploration of self. Like, whew, what is happening today? And then from here, bend the right leg, cross the left over so we've got a number four shape, and just circle that side to side. Not circle, just let it rock side to side a little bit. We'll take the sole of the foot down so the foot shape is grounded. Extend your arms out, let the shape drop over to the left. And your gaze can go over to the right. So try to keep your left, uh, your right foot flexed, toes pulling towards the shin, and then don't push your knee, but from your hip, can your right knee pull towards your left heel? Breathe into that for a moment. And we'll come back to center. Maybe the right leg kind of slides over a little bit more. And then pull the shape over to the right. Be careful of your left knee here. If you're pulling on it and it hurts, undo the shape and just let both of the knees fall over. That's cool. If it feels good, that right leg is actively stretching out that left hip. Gaze okay, to fall to the left. And find that big breath again. You haven't lost it. Pulling down, pull left down. We come back to center one more time, hug the shape in. And then we all down. Left leg to the sky. Actually, both. Circle down again. And then we'll keep the left and drop the right, sole of the foot or leg. Check out the situation with the hamstring, the calf, how this left side is doing. And let it go a little bit on the inhale. You can pull it in a little bit closer. You can continue to circle, stretch the ankle, wiggle your toes. Keep breathing. And then from here, bend. Cross left over right, hug that in. Let it rock side to side a little bit. So the right foot comes down to the ground. Arms out with the T, drop the shape over to the right. And again, this would be enough, or maybe the left knee is trying to pull forth the right heel. Your hands, your hands, not your hands, your hands can always help a little bit. Massaging out the area that seems tight or that's responding to this. Be gentle with yourself, gentle and kind. And we'll pull back to center, take it over to the other side. Um, and again, the left foot can kind of slide over a little bit before you do that. Maybe can go to the right. If you were very aware of your right knee, if anything feels like it's not supposed to, let it go. Come back to center, hug the shape in. And then we'll take both legs up to the sky one more time, circle out. Bend the knees, grab on to the kneecaps, and then we'll move the circles to the hips. So push the legs away from you, take it out to the side, and just do like three in one direction. And then three in the opposite direction. And then finally letting the legs come down to the ground. Just a gentle bridge here. So we'll go up and down a couple times. And actually take your feet a little bit further away from you so they're not right in, and maybe a little bit wider. Roll the low back down to the ground, and we'll move the arms too. If you lift your hips, extend the arms up to the ceiling, and then back behind you, your bridge doesn't have to be high. Give this first one a couple of breaths. Just breathe into the front of body. You are squeezing your inner thighs, and you are powering through your feet. So really press down through the heels or the ball of the foot as well. And then roll yourself down, starting at the top of the body. Roll the low back down, all the way down to the tailbone. If you want to move your feet closer, sure. Let's bump it out. Press down, lift up. Oh, roll it down. Press down, lift up. And roll. Two more. Press down, lift up. And roll. Last one. Press down, lift up. And roll. Yeah, from here, knees rock side to side. Hug your knees into your chest. And rock it 
it back and forth a few times. We're just going to come all the way over the hands and knees. So, come up all the way back, all the way forth. We go up several times. And then when we're done, we end up on all fours. Spread your fingers wide. Take your knees a little bit wider, right arm up to the sky. Lift your left knee up, 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 and back. And then we'll just spread the needle here. Reach it through. If your head doesn't come to the ground, lock the pillow underneath you. And as your right ear comes to the ground, can you pull your hips to the right? Left hand can press into the ground. Get a little bit of space between your ear lobe and your right shoulder. Breathe. Continue to try to push your rib cage up to the sky. Press into the left hand, reach your right arm all the way up to the sky again. And then take the right, so you're going to have to keep up. Let your left ear dip toward your left shoulder. And then reach your right hand towards the back of your mat, kind of like right over that right hand. Breathe into neck and shoulder here. And then spin your chin down. You might even be able to pinch your right shoulder blade and kind of move the right arm across from the mat across your body. Kind of move your head around a little bit. And we'll circle the right arm back to the ground. And just push it out. If you need a little bit of time in between, so cat cow to even that, you can do that. Right arm stays down, left arm lifts up, pinch the shoulder blade and move to back. And then thread the needle here. So as your arm goes through, get some space between the ear lobe and the shoulder. If your head doesn't come down again, walk to left, pull your hips to the left. And then as you exhale, hug your navel in. See if you can use your right arm to help push your ribs up to the sky. Imagine your hips are still trying to pull towards the back of the mat. Take a full breath. And then we'll press the right arm into the ground, reach your left arm up to the sky. Right ear dips to your right shoulder. So heavy bowling ball here. Right ear, right shoulder. And then you're going to just take that left arm coming towards your left hip. Maybe you can kind of squeeze and pull it across. Turn your chin towards your right shoulder. Tuck it in a little bit. Move it around back and forth. And we let it all go. All the way down. All right. Just come a little bit closer. Now we'll do that. Yeah. Pull your hips to your heels, your toes are top, knees are lifting. Back down. Out. Shoulders over your wrists, lift your heart. Exhale, round your back. Pull your hips to your heels, maybe lift your knees. Maybe take your knees a little bit wider. Two more times, knees down, shoulders over the wrist, lift your heart, cow. Exhale, round your back, pull your hips to your heels, maybe lift the knees, maybe separate, maybe rock, and get bigger and bigger, right? Last one, inhale, lift up your heart. Exhale, round your back, pull your hips to your heels, if you don't want to lift the knees, stretch out your feet, stretch out your toes. Okay, as you come forward on this last one, finding your cow, open up your chest. And then from here, can we bring ourselves forward a little bit more and then bend your elbows and put them all the floor all the way down. So you want to watch your chin down and then you squeeze your elbows in and lift up your heart. Open up your throat. And then we're going to press 10 fingers down, push back up, round, jab it out your head go. From here, tuck your toes if they're not already. Back to down dog. All right, wiggle yourselves out. Bend your legs, rock your hips. And then just hang your dog. Roll your shoulders away from your ears. Turn your head left to right, right to left. Bring your feet in a little bit closer for balance. Sink right leg reaches to the sky. So imagine your inner thigh is spinning up towards the ceiling. When you look at your toes, then they should be pointing to the ground. And as you hug your front ribs in, can you squeeze the back of your right leg and lift it just a little bit higher? Exhale, bring your knee in towards your nose, round your back a little bit, maybe you can touch. Inhale, straight back, and then again, find that extra lift. Exhale again, pull your knee into your nose, 
Inhale, take it back up to the sky strong. And then we'll step forward. Exhale, leave your nose, step the foot between the hands. Soften your back knee down to the ground. Grab your blocks or books or whatever you have or nothing at all. And then straighten out your right leg, pull your hip back. Sole of your foot can be lifted or it can be on the ground. And then imagine trying to open your right sitting bone to the right side of the room, left sitting bone to the left side of the room. Lift up your chest, breathe, and then hinge in to it. From here, we'll bend back into the knee. Right hand reaches back to your right hip. Try to pull it back a little bit. So as you pull your right hip back, can you then twist your hip up and put your right arm to the sky? Same sort of circles here. Let your left ear drop to your left shoulder. Reach your right hand towards the back of the mat. And then circle it around just for two or three. If it doesn't feel good to let your head be heavy, then you don't let it be heavy. And then reverse the circle, take it around and around. Right hand comes down, you can move your block aside if you had it. Lift up your left knee. Try to be powerful here, but think of cat pose. So blocks, books are definitely helpful. Press into the blocks, round your back and see if you can lift up your right foot. Step it back, move the blocks. Now dog. Okay, now we'll move back and forth from plank to here. So lift your heels, look at your belly button, roll forward and nice and slow, finding your plank on your inhale. And then as you exhale, lift your hips, pull your hips up and back, find your dog knees and bend. Inhale, lift your heels, roll forward to plank. Exhale, hug your navel and use your core to bring you back. Two more, lift your heels, bend your knees, roll forward to plank. Exhale, pull your belly in all the way up and back. One more time, lift heels, roll forward to plank, now hold your plank, breathe in. And out, knees can always drop. Breathe in, can you find your pause to hold? Exhale, let the breath all go. One more round, inhale. Exhale, knees drop, pull back to child's pose, hips pull to the heels. All right, now look forward, we're gonna slide forward. So that's kind of why we came down, and I should have said it before, when you did come down like this, if you're not able to get your chin down, it's always your forehead, it's fine. Information I should have said before. So, okay, we're gonna look forward, and you're gonna bring your elbows down, and you're gonna try to bring your chest, and then we're gonna bring fall forward. All right, chin is forward, hands right by your ribs, Press through your toes, pinch the shoulder blades, lift up to a baby cobra as you inhale, and exhale, push yourself back down. Inhale, stay with baby cobra, full cobra, lift up your heart, open up your chest. Exhale, come back to down dog, hips to the sky. Breathe. Left leg, use the inner thigh, lift it up to the sky. Check in with yourself. So feel the front ribs pull in, feel like you've got some action trying to pick that heel up. Knee to your nose, exhale, hug it in. Inhale, take it back up, and then give that little extra squeeze to lift higher, hug the front ribs in, knee to your nose, hug it in. Final one, inhale, take it up, exhale, we'll step it forward. Box of your knee, lift up your heart, breathe into the front of that right hip, and then straighten out your left leg. Pull back through the hip, move around a little bit, left, right, forward, back, five, what works, what you need. And then we'll bend into the left knee. And as you bring your left hand to your left hip, see if you can then spin your ribs a little bit more to the sky. Left arm reaches up, maybe the right ear comes down, ribs circles. Circle to the back, all the way around. Reverse your direction, all the way around. And as the hand comes down to the ground, maybe again we use our blocks. Lift up your right knee. You could also do your fist or your fingertips, whatever you have to give you a little bit more space. So right hip pulls forward, think cat pose. Can you float your left foot? Step it back down and off, it's pulls this back. Lift your heels, roll forward to plank on your inhale, we'll go back and forth three times. Exhale, pull yourself back to down dog. Inhale, lift your heels, roll forward to plank. Exhale, pull yourself back, down dog. Final one to stay. Inhale, lift your heels, roll forward to plank. Exhale, stay. Inhale, breathe in. Stay for the exhale. Two more, inhale. 
Exhale. One more. Inhale. You can go back to child pose. Exhale. Inhale. Now this time, as you come forward, we're going to slide our hands forward. We're going to come into puppy dog pose. So slide your hands towards the front of the mat. With your shoulders. So let's see if you do this and your shoulders roll in. Instead, can you imagine rolling your shoulders out? Okay? So it might be easier to even start with your pinky fingers down and your thumbs up so we can open up the shoulders. And then from there, your knees, your hips should be right over your knees. This is where you can bring your forehead down to the ground, but maybe you can bring your chin and your chest. And you can stay with your thumbs up, you can bring your palm down. But no matter what, at any point, our arms are really strong here, so you could push into the mat and just lift your whole self up. Now you imagine opening up your sitting bones, keeping a little bit of abdominal engagement. And then again, finding your breath. How big can your breath get? One more time. Moving those shoulders away from your ears. All right, here we go. We're going to press into the forearms to lift up our chest and then bring it on down to where we were before. Hands come right next to the rib cage. Roll the shoulders back, baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Full cobra, up dog. Press through the hands, lift through the chest. Can you move the shoulders away from your ears now? Can you lift your sternum higher? Exhale, down dog. Hips to the sky. Good breath in, good breath out. Right leg to the sky on the inhale. Exhale, meet your nose. Back to the sky on your inhale. We'll step it forward with this one. Exhale, step it forward. Back knee down. Imagine you're squeezing your left knee towards the top of the mat. Reach your hands to the sky. Big breath. Interlace your fingers. Bring your hands behind your head. Open your elbows as wide as they can go. Now imagine your hand helping to lift your torso up two inches. And then press your head back into your hands. Arch yourself over to the right a little bit, over to the left a little bit. Let the hands reach up to the sky, and then all the way down to the ground. Pull back through the right leg. Immediately we'll move into our twist, bend into the right knee, left knee lifts, right onto the front of the right, to the sky, and maybe into the back of the leg. Maybe your left ear here. Right hand comes down to the ground, step to the top of your mat. Bend your knees for a full, let your head just go. Inhale, half lift, breathe in. Exhale, bend your knees a little bit deeper. Do that again. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bend your knees a little bit deeper. So the sky rise, use the power of the legs, lift you up. If you want, interlace your fingers, pull up and back. Exhale, bend the knees as your head goes down, your hands reach to the sky. Hands down, left foot steps back on the inhale. Can you find that feeling of cat? <sighs> Lift the right foot, step it back down, dog. Exhale. We'll go back and forth three times. Ready? Bend the knees. Look at your belly button. Roll forward to plank. Inhale. Exhale. Pull yourself back down, dog. Inhale. Lift heels. Roll forward to plank. Exhale. Find your down, dog. Last one. Inhale. Roll forward to plank. Hold. Knees can drop. Now, elbows squeeze into the body. Halfway down. Push back up. Plank. Knees can lift. And knees can come down, halfway down. Inhale, push back up, knees can lift. Exhale, halfway down. Push back up, knees can lift. Last one, I promise. Exhale, halfway down. Can you hold it? All the way down. From your toes, roll your shoulders back, baby cobra, full cobra, up dog. Exhale, down dog, to the sky. One big breath in, one big breath out. Left leg to the sky, we do this twice. Exhale, knee to your nose. Well, I mean, We'll set that forward on the second one. Is that clear? <laughs> Back knee down, right knee squeezing forward. Inhale, arms up, pause. Interlace the fingers. Then again, imagine your hands right here at the base of your head, helping to lift your torso higher, higher, higher. And as your hips go forward, maybe your torso can move back. You can arch yourself over to the left. Breathe into the right side body. Breathe into the right arm. Arch yourself over to the right. 
Bring your arms back up to center, and then all the way down to the ground. Move your weight in the back of our knee, stretch out your left leg. Going right into the twist, bend it to the left knee, lift your right, left hand to the front of the room, to the sky, maybe to the back of the room, move your ear drop. Exhale, top of your mat, forward fold, bend the knees, let your head down. Half left on the inhale, we'll do two again. Hug your navel in, use your leg power, squeeze your glutes. Exhale, pull yourself in and down. One more time, inhale. Exhale, till there's no breath left. Yeah, right to the sky, you can take your legs your fingers from the bottom to take you up top. Exhale, maybe catch the hands behind you, pinch the shoulder blades, open your chest, and back down, bend your knees, let your head go. One extra breath there to experience it. Open the sitting bones, let your head get heavier. Hands down to the ground, right foot steps back with your inhale. Then press, lift, and the back up, out next step. We'll do it three times, one more time. Inhale, lift your heels, roll towards your butt. Exhale, from your belly, pull yourself back down the dog. Inhale, lift the heels, roll forward the leg. Exhale, from your belly, pull you back down the dog. Last one to hold. Inhale, hold your butt. All right, knees can come down or not. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, push back up plank. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, push back up plank. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, push back up plank. This is the biggie. Exhale, halfway down and hold. All the way down. Inhale, up, down, down, lift up your chest. Exhale, down, down, to the sky. One big breath in. One big breath out. One big breath in. One big breath out. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Let's bend it over this side. Exhale, maybe your nose. Inhale to the sky, take it up high. Let's go to your left elbow. Exhale, cross to the left elbow. Now square your shoulders, reach your heart forward. Tap your right elbow. Tap your left elbow. Tap your right elbow. Your left knee could be down. Tap your left elbow. Tap your right elbow. Tap your left elbow. Tap your right elbow. Hold, maybe now the left knee lifts. All the way to the back, bend the knee, open up your center. Exhale, step the foot between the hands. Back knee down, arms up, maybe again, right behind the head, open, breathe. Hands down, lift your left knee, two straight legs, pull your hip back. Same thing, just a little bit bigger. Bend into the right knee, reach your right arm up. Now, if you wanted to, come to the pinky edges of both your feet as you take that big dip back. Exhale, we'll take you to the top of the mat. Hold legs, let your head just go. Half lift with your inhale. Fold with your exhale. Inhale, you're going to let your hands rise all the way up. Exhale, catch your hands back down, let your head go. Feet can be closer, they can be hip distance, chair on this one. Pull yourself back into the heels. Think of cat to pull the low belly in, and then lift your heart, lift your heart, lift your heart, lift your heart. Keep squeezing the inner thighs, but keep your knees a little bit separate. Breathe, it is what I wanted to say. Breathe, exhale, back down. Inhale, heart lifts, breathe in. If you'd like to jump back, jump back, or exhale, just step back, plank. Halfway, halfway. Inhale, shoulders back, heart lifts. Exhale, down dog, hips to the sky. One breath in, make sure it's there. One breath out. Four rounds of breath, inhale. Just making sure you're here, exhale. Last big breath, inhale, 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 to make it big. Exhale until it's all gone. Left leg rises, bend and open, inhale. Knee your nose, exhale. Okay, now go to the right elbow. Square off and reach your heart forward. And your heel is actively pulling up. Now can you tap your left elbow? Remember you can drop your right knee. Tap your right elbow and your left elbow and your right elbow and your left elbow and your right elbow. And your and your left elbow hold. If your knee is down, could you lift it? All the way up the back, bend your knee, open up your hip. Exhale, start to put your finger down. Back knee down, reach each other's fingers, lifting up and back, breathe into your heart. And then exhale, hands come down, lift your back leg, pull back through the hips. Bend into the front knee, find your twist. And this is enough, but if it feels good to come on down to the side and let it rise. Top of your mat, exhale all the breath out. 
Leg all down. Half lift with your inhale. Fold with your exhale. Directly to chair. Pull your hips back. Squeeze the inner thighs. Find your cat. Find your heart. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. It can be the outside, it can be the inside of the inner thigh or the outside of your right thigh. Come back to center. Breathe in. Exhale to the left. Now let's just go with the breath. Inhale, center. Exhale, tap. Inhale, center. Once you hook on, see if you can then twist your ribs a little bit more. Inhale, center. Exhale to twist. Inhale, center. Exhale to twist. Inhale, center. One more round. Exhale to twist. Last foot center. Exhale to twist. Inhale, center. Hold. Find it again. That's not holding. All right, let's take your inhale. And hold the exhale. Purple is here if you want it. So, ten fingers down. Your hands are as wide as your shoulders. From there, we can bend the knees in order to lift our heels. And I'm going to really try to come to the ball of my foot. So not just a little bit of a lift, but a lot. And then rounding my back with cat. Knees squeeze and kind of wrap in. And then this is enough. Hello, keeping flat. Maybe you grip your mat and then we send, we pull ourselves forward now on my tippy toes. And if you all of a sudden sink into it, you gotta have that feeling of pushing the ground away. Like push. And maybe you can squeeze up. And breathe. Maybe you're doing your toe taps, maybe you're straightening your arms. And breathing for sure. Breathing for sure. Step back, jump back, child's pose it back. Slow down. Meet me in child pose whenever you're ready. Alright, from your child's so pose, bring your knees in closer. Sit back onto your heels. And then press all the way up, section. Take your right arm, reach it to the sky, and then start to reach it towards the back of your mat and gaze can follow. Your left hand is helping to remind you to lift your foot. And then pull yourself back. And then your left hand reaches up. And then goes towards the back of your mat. Your right hand to mind the left And then close your back up. Your right hand lifts you up. And then you need a little bit more of your arc. And then pull you up. Your left hand breathing in. And then close it up. And then what about both hands? Close your reach up. And then go. Start to go towards the back of the mat, just feel it open with your heart. Make sure you don't feel it all of a sudden you're collapsing into your low back. And then let's bring the hands back up, back to child's pose, hands by your ankles. <sighs> Let's go with the breath. Let's bring the hands forward, look forward, and then ask for a seat back to go. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to come into puppy dog again. Oh, speaking of, we're going to puppy dog. All right, so as you slide forward, your butt comes over your feet or your knees now. And before you really come into it, you roll the shoulders away from your ears. Maybe you decide to keep your fingers the best and let your heart just not clean to it. And imagine you're almost here. It's like you're from your shoulder to your pinky fingers. You're trying to press to the edges of the mat. But you have that concept to remind you to move away from the, uh, your look, make space. Breathe. Maybe this one can get a little bit deeper. And if it is not working for you, then I want you to keep your abs engaged. And then make your forehead come down, but make it a little bit more just across the shoulders. So your abs, your low back never goes into that rounding space. Let's see what's left for you. All right, from here, we're going to walk our hands a little bit closer, tuck into the elbows. Now, when you come into it, can you bring your elbows directly underneath your shoulders? And all ten fingers are spread as wide as possible. Okay, this is enough right here. If you did Sunday's class, we practice up and down through the, the shoulder vertical here. So make sure you're in that push away from the ground space. Tuck your toes and lift up your knees. So we're in one leg. Okay, with your heart forward, can you pull your heels to the right? So you haven't shifted anything through your torso. And then pull yourself back to center. 
So shoulders stay square, heart reaches forward, heels to the left. Oh, come back to center. Nothing changes through the torso, heels to the right. And back to center. Nothing changes through the torso, heels to the left. And back to center. To the right. And back to center. To the left. And back to center. How about one more? To the right. And back to center. To the left. And back to center. Just for the fun of it, start to walk your feet in. Push the ground away. See how far we can get our feet in towards our face. Roll it in this. Strip up. I'm going to release child toes. Can't fight my ankle. Down on that. Breathe in, breathe out. Down ah. loud. Ten fingers strong. Get your hips up and back. All right. You know what? I'm playing down on for a second. I have to see what I'm doing. Oh, wait. Is it here? Come on, guys. Right leg to the sky. Then it open. Exhale, touch your right elbow. Cross to your left elbow. Fall in triangle. Kick it out. Press down through your foot. Lift up through your hips. Hand comes down. Hug that right leg back. Reach your body all the way up and back. If you want to have practice on handstand hop, bring your left foot closer. Hop your right leg up. Exhale, we'll set the right foot between. This time, just come up. Squeeze the inner thighs. Rise up. Press up. Bring your hands back down. I tend to do more ones today. Press the back edge of your back foot down. Squeeze the inner thighs. Rise up, warrior one. Woo. Straight your front leg. Try to pull the left hip back. Pull up through your low belly. Bend into the right knee. In and inhale, the arms up to the sky. Just release the fingers behind your back. Open up your heart. Humble warrior. Come to the inside of that right leg. And if the inside of the right leg is right here, that's cool. As your head goes down, if your butt's pulling to the right, squeeze the inner thighs, find your mid lunge. Go ahead, go. <sighs> Three. Inhale, squeeze the inner thighs, rise back up. Exhale, open the way your two. Reverse your warrior on the inhale. Stretch out that right side body. Side angle, pull the hips back. Arch it up a little more. Right hand comes down to the ground, or left hand to the ground, right hand to the sky. Just your press. Hand comes down, step back, right leg to the sky. Bend the knee, open up your hip. Okay, if you wanted three legged, what are you to take? Down and up. Exhale, down and Could have been something else, right? What are you playing around with? Left leg to the sky, bend it over. Tap your left elbow. Have your right elbow, fall in triangle, press down to the foot, lift up through the hips. Hand comes down, exhale, hug the knee in, step it to the sky. Right foot can come in a little bit closer. You could just step the foot forward or take a little bit of a hop. What does that look like today? How do you use your left leg to lift you? Step forward. Squeezing your thighs, take a pat to lift you all the way up. Remember, I did it again. I just wanted to repeat it. <laughs> Hands come down, right foot comes in. Rise, lower your one. Straighten your right leg. Pull the right hip forward. Lift out through the low belly. So you're really strong there. You guys are going to me. Push through the pinky edge of your back foot. Interlace your hands. Switch up the grip. Open chest. Breathe. Come away. Find that center line. Let your head be heavy. Squeeze the inner thighs, rise back up. Warrior two, exhale. Sweep the heels together, pull up through the low belly, soft shoulders. Now we're going to find the pot. Reverse your warrior, take it up and back, find space for the left side body. Side angle, pull the hips over, stretch. Right hand comes down to the ground. Left hand to the step. Take the back. You know your dog, bend the knee over your hip. So anything you're working on in this transition space, because it's a space of play if you wanted it, right? It could be another handstand. It could be the strength that we're working on this one way. Inhale up, dog. Exhale down, dog. 
Alright, one more time, ready? Right leg to the sky, bend it open. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. To your left elbow. To your ball and triangle. Down, lift up. Hand come down and hug it back in. All the way to the back side. Exhale, stop. Her foot or hop. Her foot. Four. We are one on the inhale. Inhale, rise back up. Arms high, heart high. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse your warrior with your inhale. Reach back, maybe that left hand comes behind the back. Exhale, side angle. Could you get a little bit deeper? I'm going to raise this one. I'm going to move back a little bit because we're going to take half my If you like to bind this, if you like to move into something, another shape here, it's your choice. Be in it. You have to find your cog. Straighten your right leg. Oh, pull yourself all the way from back. And if you will, we're coming to half here. So, bending back into the right knee. You can start high if you want it or low. So if you want it to already be up and lifted, you can walk. As much space as possible through the right side body. So from your hip to your armpit, you can lengthen that side out and feel very lifted, like we're lifting out of our right hip. And then as you exhale, let it all go. Bend into the knees slowly, carefully. Ooh. Inhale as we come through our chair. We're going to bring our right leg up with us. And then we will take a twist here. So you can grab the outside of your left right thigh or the pinky edge of the right leg. Pinky edge of the foot. And then through the ribs. We twist. Hug the navel in the twist. Up the navel and twist. Pulling back to center, eagle. Bend into the left, pull your weight back into your heel, cross right over left. Right arm under left arm over. Pull the hips back, pull the back down. Any variation we want to take. I'm just going to stay here. I'm work on my pause. Wind the arm, lift the right leg, getting split. Stretch the right leg out, up. Balance is here, whatever it is. Handstand jumps, handstand press. Drop back one, soften the right knee all the way down. In and out of your left leg a little bit. You have a splits that you want to take, a full splits, a half splits. Do your thing. We'll move it back. However, it is you want to get to down dog. Take your time. It should be a pause, right? Left leg rises. Bend and open. Left elbow first. Right elbow. Follow triangle. We'll press down. Hand comes down. Whatever you want to do. Hand stand hop. Step foot forward. Back edge down, squeeze in the thighs, rise on the inhale, warrior one. Touch hands behind you, open heart, exhale as you come warrior. Give it a little extra time. Hold it down. Squeeze in the thighs, rise back up. Warrior two. Reverse with your inhale. Back. Maybe the right hands come behind you and help you to lean back a little bit more. Side angle, could you get a little bit deeper into it? We're here for a couple breaths. Find if you like, take it into a different shape if you want. Just make sure you're able to find that pause. Straighten the front leg, pull up, pull back, 
reach back. And then half move. So you can start low, you can start high. If you like, it's easy to start high. Try to come from the ground and push you And then find core strength, and hip strength, and lift you. Carefully bend the knees, pull yourself back down to your forward fold. I know I'm sitting while I have to keep checking my time is. Okay, how's the other way? Ready to come up to it. Shake it out a little bit. Ah, all right. So left leg comes with us, guys. Bend into chair. Bring your left leg up. Twist to the left. Maybe the pinky edge is working for you on this side. Big breath there. As we come back to center. Pull ourselves into the eagle. So bend into the right knee, pull your left back. Cross your left over your right. Cross your left arm under, right arm over. Any variation. There's twisting that you can be doing here. There's arm balancing. There's just being here. The best version of yourself here. Mindful. No expectations. Now we are on the left. Getting split. Now we've got all these options. What works for you? What path do you want to take? Taking it back to our lunge as you're finished. You don't have to be in any sort of rush. And then after your right leg. Splits is working for you today. You just want to hang out in the half split. You want to have breath. And again, meeting whenever you're ready. In down dog. However it is you got there. We have another forearm balance to get you there. And stand hot, right? Hot leg leads you. Shoulders over the wrist. Chaturanga, no Chaturanga. One last up dog. You might be holding yourself. We're just going to bring ourselves to seated. So we can cross the ankles or however you want to do it. And then let's come all the way down to our backs. Whew. All right, so hold to the feet into the ground. This time we'll go for that bigger bridge. If it's working, a supporting bridge for the wheel. Press that knee. Face the glutes. So whether you're taking bridge after bridge or after wheel, you are really using your legs. Press down through the feet, squeeze through the inner thighs. Press down through your shoulders, your arms. If you're relaxing on a block, that's So, as I think we might get cut off at some point, just make sure to do everything that you feel like you need to do today. So if there's something you left out, <laughs> then you just your class, add it in. Three more breaths. Maybe you come down and then come back up. And keep that pause. And then slowly roll yourself down. Knees drop to side to side. And then from here, we'll bring the knees in for a happy baby. Whatever you can take, back of the legs. Ankles, can be edges with the feet. Rock out your sacrum. Or just stay still. 
I'll put it now before we get cut off. Thank you for practicing with me. Let me know if ever you have any questions or if there's anything you want to work on. Even if it's like a how do I do this? And then hopefully we'll have some Zoom classes either next week, but it's going to be on the 21st. So just send me your email um, if you want to do that. All right, uh, number four shape, upside down pigeon, cross the thighs, one last hip opener. So if we get cut off, do one last hip opener and then one last twist, and then a lot of time if you lost them. And throughout your day, make today a day that you're mindful of your breath. That you are able to find a full breath, and especially the pause. You know, if we can incorporate more pause in our lives, more pause before we talk, before we speak, before our thoughts become words, before our thoughts become actions, like that kind of pause. I would save myself a lot of awkward moments. <laughs> But really, it would really be beneficial to us all if we just pause a little bit more. Move it into a twist, right? Like cross it over. It's also the pause to enjoy life, the pause to slow down. This pandemic has definitely created the worst pause. But you realize how important it is. It's like fast, it's so still good. Okay. And then we do number four, or you got side down pigeon, and we'll do your in half pigeon or double pigeon. Let's do double pigeon next time we got it. So if we had it somebody. Official tip. <laughs> All right, pass it over to the twist. We'll come back to center and one last time we can throw your doors up for you. Shabbat, as you're ready. Take it, enjoy it. 